for today's creature feature we come to the city of Lockport Illinois welcome back to the channel and welcome if it's your first time Tampa J here your haunted house ghost host has returned this is my first time in Illinois for a haunted house though Hell's Gate it is said to be the best the scariest haunted house in all of Illinois and all of the Chicago area actually they won a couple awards last year thanks to scarefactor.com and hauntworld.com this was way up there on my radar I knew if I was gonna come to Chicago for a haunted house the first one I had to do was Hell's Gate and thank you so much to the owner John of Hell's Gate for having us out today in this video. Thank you for clicking on a special exclusive sneak peek behind the scenes tour of Hell's Gate. We begin here, but I have to take a journey first back to the hidden spooky mansion in the woods. That's how it's described on their website. We begin now. There's much ahead. And I purposely began on 2nd Street here in Lockport because across the road here, across 2nd Street, that is the parking lot where you will park your car if you come out to Hell's Gate this fall. A tram shall take you down the path I am about to take. So this is where you park. Make sure to check the website for Hell's Gate for the parking. If you go to the Google address for Hell's Gate, you will get lost. This is a very spooky road. Look at all these abandoned trucks and trailers. Look at all this. There's a camper. Ooh, I see why they call this murder road. There's a boat. And just like that, we have made it to Hell's Gate. The entryway right here off of Canal Street. The gate has been open. We have special access. Just wanted to show you what was going on here. Oh yeah, I think I found the right place. This old car here. And out beyond it, beyond the fence, a very haunting looking house. Okay, so I've met up with the owner, John Lifflin Boy. And I just wanted to show you, before we start and do introductions, this is the parking lot where the trams will drop you off. And you walk over this way, I believe wanted to set that up and greeting us in the gate hell's gate this is the main entrance you walk into this is it this is it we uh all of our customers park off-site and then we bust them down our very scary murder road uh, and they get dropped off in this vacant lot here uh, and this is where they queue up and this is the beginning of hell's gate haunted house i am john the flamboy i am the owner operator director designer actor Head clown, whatever. Uh, this Jack is what I trades. do. Uh, yeah. This is what I do year round is haunted houses. And we're gonna do today a lights on, a lights on tour. Um, I always tell everybody, you know, we build beautiful things and there's cool stuff in here, but it don't mean a thing until you put the actors inside this place. Uh, this is an actor-based haunted house. I designed all of my haunted houses uh, to empower the actor. And we are a storytelling haunted house. So we are not a collage, you do not go from an Egyptian tomb to a swamp to a circus. Uh, this is all one cohesive story that we like to bring our audience through. Uh, as we walk through, we're gonna see some fun stuff. We are at the end of August here, so now that everything is finished, uh, we've got the uh, final. Anyone that works in the haunted house business knows it is this this last month that's the craziest. We're trying to get everything done as fast as we can. So you're gonna see some of that behind the scenes stuff as we're putting our final things together. And uh, in a few weeks, we're gonna start bringing all the actors in here, and that's really nice. where this thing comes to life. All right, so much ahead with John here. Man, you set it all up. This yeah, was easy. Go. Yeah. <laughs> you got any questions along the way? Otherwise, all right, I, I'll let I you will. Take lead. Okay. And uh, yeah, this is our our haunted trail, the beginning. This is sick. I've seen these jack o' lanterns. Wow. I can imagine it being night and all these things par perhaps all lit up. Wow. So is this like the queue area? Well, this is a brand new installation right here. Uh, our little pumpkin shoot. So we're not finished yet. We don't have the lights in oh, it yet. Okay. We so don't have the final detail on any of the pumpkins. Brand new. Yeah, it's a brand new little bit. All wow. All this turn right here. Okay, yeah, I like this scarecrow row right here. Yeah, so everything you're seeing right here is brand new is what you're saying. 
Yeah, the shed we had uh, a year ago, but this whole shoot and uh, basically building it up, we realized it was really difficult for the actor to really get that scare and move the customers. Uh, so we're kind of aiding our actor here and empowering the actor by narrowing everything down, really forcing the audience to walk in a single file row that really sets the actor up at the end here. I see. Oh, it's spooky. Can imagine. Double door pop out on the left. Oh yeah. Zap. Good old TNT prop, that's hey. fun. Yeah, check out these gnarly jack-o'-lanterns here. Creepy, ooh. And now making the way down the hill. Oh wow, looks like a little village. Fire pit, oh yeah, this is creepy as crap. Are those real bones? These are all real bones, it's like yes. Real cattle bones? Yeah. Kind of a crucifix. Do lots of uh, bone art here at Hell's Gate. Dude, I love it. Bone art. And then, oh wow, amazing. Look at this. We're gonna walk in there. We got to, right? We have to. Holy cow. The only way to move is forward, my friend. In we go. So this is our la our version of the laser swamp. I'm sure you've seen laser swamp. I love a good old laser elsewhere. swamp, yeah. We have the nice laser coming at your mid-level here. So my actors are hiding underneath that light. Uh, which is bringing you into this unknown. This mulch gets nice and mushy, so yeah. it really feels like you're walking through a swamp. And then uh, we have a giant puppet that comes flying out of this oh, hole cool. at you. Uh, a lot of what we do here at Hell's Gate, uh, we like to play with the sinister side of scaring. Uh, and what that means is most people are far more afraid of a scare that comes on the left than the right. You know, it's the science of scaring. Uh, so we'll distract you on the right, and then we'll hit you on the left. Uh, because it gives you more of a, Dude, more of a real scare. I love that. I never put that together until you put it into uh, words right there. That is so true. Oh, yeah. we, we The yeah. best scare always comes from the left. Always comes from the left. But you got to distract on the right. Because that's our that's our dominant side. It's where we feel. Now, of course, left-handed people, well, they're just weirdos. Uh, so they're a little <laughs> bit different. Uh, but we try Earmuffs. to really layer phobias. And we really, really su study the science of scare here at Hell's Gate. Cool, man. All right, so we're gonna walk right out here. It looks like a little silithine walkthrough. Oh, nice. Hey, I saw this when I came in. Looks like a limestone wall or something right there. Is that from the canal? I don't know. Yeah, what's great about this property is this all used to be a limestone quarry. So okay. It really gives us the, this amazing topography of these cliffs and rock walls. None of it's fake, none of it's paper mache. Uh, this is a new addition. This yeah. is a uh, 1927. Dodge Brothers sedan. My favorite part of the little emblem there, it's before Dodge was a full company and the Dodge Brothers went out there and started on their own. That's amazing. Uh, I'm a stickler uh, for my story. And most people know this is a, a period piece. We are in the late 20s, early 30s here. Okay. At Gate Haunted House. And I like to make sure I design everything 360 with that period in mind. So when I wanted to do a good horn scare, to really move the audience uh, because I get a little bit of a slowdown right here. And I really needed to move them through. Uh, I couldn't just put any truck here. I right. had to stick to my story. So we went out and we found a 1927. It's got the wood spokes and the wheels. Holy cow. The, the floorboards are still there. It is a beaut. And so inside of this, we will be adding an air horn and the giant headlights that go out. Burp, burp. Uh, but instead of just a normal horn, you know, one of those? Yeah. We're gonna go with the old school 1920s. The, uh, Ooga. uh just so we get that scare uh, and we get a little bit of laughter. Fantastic. Now, always what we're trying to do here is get a scare, but also get, get a laugh here and there. You know, you can't scare everyone. That's the best. You can entertain everybody. I've always said this. There's a lot of humor in horror and Halloween. There oh, sure absolutely. Is. Yeah. They go side by side. It, it literally activates the same parts of your brain when you're laughing at a comedy or you're screaming in a thrill the ride. endorphins. Or it activates the exact same area of your brain. So you're feeling the same. That's cool. So uh, yeah, we really play with that here. Now it looks like we're gonna enter the Lost Soul Cemetery. This is a directly in front of the car. It's like a real cemetery gate too. More limestone in front of us. Big giant rock and bones. Lots of bones. Bones up and down the tree trunk here. And all the way around. Oh man, that, those are real bones. Looks like a cattle pelvis right there. Crazy. Oh my gosh. Is that real blood? It's gotta be. There's like a skull right there. All right, here we go. Into the, whoa. I think that was like a bug or something. Cicadas. It was a cicada? 
Oh, <laughs> first scare of the night. It is the beauty of designing a haunted house in actual woods. I mean, here we've got actual cliffs on your right. We've got a real swamp on your left. Swamp down there. Uh -huh. So customers cannot go anywhere. There is nowhere to run here except where we want you to go, uh, which gives this real claustrophobic, small feeling. Now during the show, this is all emptied out. This is our grave digger shed. Oh, okay. Uh, so clearly it's got a bunch of props from storage in it right now as we're doing our fast, uh, last touch-ups. Okay, stay there. Nice doggy. Nice pooch. Oh, hey. Is that the grave digger? That's Fred. Fred. Oh, oh, I see what you're doing out here. Oh my this gosh. His face. His comes face comes off. Pulls his face off. Big old waggly tongue. Yummy. Oh. To me, it's, just, it's the tongue that makes it. Get this guy off of me. <laughs> Going sure. through the woods in groups of four to six. Groups of four to six through the woods. And the goal is to not see the audience in front of you and not see the audience behind I you. I love that. So that you feel like you are truly in this intimate experience, like you're walking through your own horror film. Not like at HHN. Yes, I said it. Yeah. Uh, I can give a little introduction to what we're doing here. This okay. is something new. Uh, so this is kind of special. Oh, um, something new. Uh, you guys will be the first to see this. Uh, this wow. is brand new. No audience has seen a sneak peek. No audience has seen anything yet. Uh, one of the things uh, we do here at Hell's Gate is we have this really long outdoor trail that goes to the cemetery and the woods. It takes at least 15 minutes before you even find the haunted house. Uh, it is a haunted house in itself. Uh, and one of the things that I'm practicing with with my design theory this year is uh, a belief that I have that people are afraid of uh, thresholds. There's a phobia in crossing thresholds, to have to go into something. Uh, makes you feel smaller, makes you feel more afraid, brings your shoulders up. Uh, so what I'm doing here is I'm literally introducing, brand new this year, the cabin in the woods. Uh, that Whoa. is not a facade, it is not a theatrical set, it is a cabin wow. in the woods that we built from scratch this year. Dude, that looks like the uh, the Evil Dead cabin. That's, and, 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 that's amazing. And, and you just nailed it. That looks like the Evil Dead cabin because I am a giant nerd. Uh, and I like to play uh, homages to some of my favorite you horror did movies not, and film directors. Sir. So this is my homage to Sam Raimi and Evil Dead, uh, the facade. Of course, we don't do the scenes, we don't do the characters, but we Holy want to kind of cow. tip our hat. I love Evil Dead, dude. That is amazing. Thanks, goosebumps man. on my goosebumps. Holy cow. And this is legit. Look at this. Amazing. You can see all the work that went into this. Front porch. Even got a swing on the porch. Holy cow. Welcome. And, and this is the crossing the threshold that I'm working on with my uh, design theory this year. I really truly believe people are going to hate the idea of having to walk up to this cabin in the woods and then have to go inside it. Especially with all the Screaming and noise and Dude. everything's going on out here at night. Of course. All right, stay there. That's freaking spooky. Oh, <laughs> something in the corner. One of the things we like to do, we like to seed the story. We're constantly trying to tell the audience the story. So even in this paper, this is all talking more about the origin story, what happened out here in the graveyard, how things went so terribly wrong. Uh, and even here with all the paper here, this is all basically a play-by-play -play of how the graveyard went so terribly wrong. Natural objects kind of partitioning the walk through here. Oh, this is the kitchen. Yeah. Now, of course, you the know, bath. you've seen, you've seen evil dead. So you know what happens at the trap door at the oh, end, yeah. which is my big distraction. Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> it's a lot of, yeah. Okay, let's you go see that. the distraction that. with the trap door. Look at this guy. And this guy comes to life at you. Right now all the sensors are out. We were filming in here until five in the morning last night. So this zombie goes off. Swallow your soul. And as the trap door's going, I'll show you this little fun gag here. Dude. And she comes off the wall, comes down at you, pops back up. That's and of sick. course, fireplace and hey man, we got a moose. Oh yeah, <laughs> just right, like the movie, that's incredible. You stay right there, sir. These props are so good. Is he real? <laughs> and out of the cabin. Ooh, even the backside of the fireplace is there. 
pretty detailed. Uh, during the show, the shed flings open and a horde of zombies comes flying out of this Whoa. to the railing at you. Um, even around the shed, we're hitting the scares, working that, and basically setting up the actor who's in the next position because you're going to be so distracted by the giant horde of animatronic zombies that came out that you're never going to see my double door pop out, uh, uh, which is right in front of us. Hidden door there. The actor gets you. Boo. And we're entering a cemetery, it looks like. So I'll give you a little intro here. This is our cemetery. Post cabin is the cemetery now. Uh, we're just now doing these mausoleums here. So we put these together this week. Uh, it is basically our circle design uh, for the actor so that an actor can come in and out of these. Work the front side and the back side. And the actor never gets caught in a corner. Always has this circle to move in. So always a way all out. All of this enables the actor. The actor always has a way out. You, you never have a way you out. You never have a way out. That's right. Okay, that's a sick sculpture. Dude. It's like the ghost of Christmas present <laughs> or future pointing the way there. In case you had any doubt which direction to go. That way. That way. So all of this is new and not yet finished. We've got a bunch of gravestones. Okay. Uh, we did a bunch of gravestone repair this week. So we're going to be putting those along this trail here. And then we'll bring out the concrete and we'll start spraying concrete on all the new touch-ups. This looks uh, great, just like it looks. It looks very spooky, like a mission. So Gorgeous yeah. at night. Okay. Coffin, dead ahead. No pun intended. Woo, I can imagine someone goes in there and in there. Along the way, it looks like more caskets on the other side. As of we, the house. We are approaching the coffin barn. Where they build all the coffins out for the cemetery. Uh, we're going to take a left here. Typically okay. this is blocked up during the show with other coffins. And this kind of pushes you deeper into the forest. Gives you a little bit more of that tightened down trees enveloped all over you feel. Right? So these move over there of course. But all of this is so actors can pop out of this. Okay. Uh, so one actor can hit you Ooh. five, six different times as you navigate around the coffins here. So as you're looking here out to the outside where all this deep vista lighting is, all these all these tombstones to bring your attention. Oh, stuff it's out the there. the actor coming on your blind side uh, from behind the coffin peninsula here. Whoa. Love it. Another stone wall back there. Yeah, this is creepy as crap as you're progressing. Oh, a barn. This is the coffin barn? Yeah, we're gonna skip this right now. It's uh, got a bunch of stuff Work in progress. construction in, just not not available but okay. yeah lots of animatronics fun toys in there that's a big barn i didn't expect that on the really? side wow all right so you would walk so through the barn out of this now come out of this and we come down this way come out of this oh piano yeah i got this habit where i take old pianos and then i just drop them in the woods and i watch them rot dude that's an art that is beautiful now during the show this is uh scarecrow row we got scarecrow, scarecrow row. one of these posts one of them is, of course, an actor, because everything we're doing is to set up the actor. So as you come down here, you're going to be very, very distracted by the chainsaw that's chasing you. Oh, boy. Uh, because I need some motivation to get you to the top of the hill here. Uh, people naturally don't like going up hills at something that got to motivate them. or larger. It is, it is natural instinct to never go uphill towards an enemy, because the enemy always has the high ground. Has so the high ground. I'm taking that science and I'm making my customers do that very, very Pushing them up the hill thing. with a chainsaw. Yeah. Other face. That's just a motivator. That's how it's just a motivator. <laughs> okay, this looks very creepy. This looks amazing. So we're approaching the main gate right now. Yep. Uphill. So everything we've done is kind of like the appetizer before you get to the actual haunted house. I'm ready for the full course, buddy. Here we go, on on. Now, during the show, we have giant fire pods on either side of the gate. So as you're coming up this hill, blowing fireballs 20, 30 feet in the air, uh, as you get to the gate, one of the fun things about the gate, this is actually the front gates to Rose Hill Cemetery that was condemned in Chicago. Wow. Because they got caught stacking bodies on top of each other in the graves. So they condemned the entire cemetery, and I was able to acquire the front gates. This is real wrought iron. This stuff is over 100 years old. That's freaking amazing. That's haunting and creepy in itself. That came from the Rose Hill Cemetery. That's a cool story. They were, they were and we've got packing up bodies. Tons of antiques throughout that haunted house. 
that are over 100 years old. I use antiques everywhere to give legitimacy and to give that real feeling that you're actually inside a mansion. Love it. And there it is. This is spooky as crap. Look at this facade here. Wow. Talk about a haunted mansion hidden in the woods. All right, here we go to the front porch. I'm gonna leave you here for a minute. You know, make sure all the power's turned on for us. Another one of my fun pianos in the woods. Okay. Oh, that is pretty creepy. So he's gonna power on the haunted house. Dude, this is sick. I'm really having a good time. We haven't even started yet. We're about to enter the inside portion. More bones down over here. Haunt's on, baby. Haunt is freaking on. Ooh, the wind picked up. Quite a bit. And the doors have been opened. Thank you, John. Come on in, everyone. Haunt's on, baby. Oh. This is neato. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Hello, sir. Oh, wow. Look at this grand hall. This is amazing. Dude, the ceiling's in here. Holy crap. Look at this. Giant portrait, spooky twins. Also got like a bookcase over here. Two lions. Wow. Lightning out. Wow, look at that stained glass. Welcome to the Haunted Mansion. This is immaculate. What do you call this room? Uh, this is the foyer. So I'll give your audience uh, yep. a little peek as to what we do in here. Uh, part of what we do with at Zombie Army, the production company uh, that runs and owns all this, is we believe in the theatrical art of storytelling in haunted houses. I know we have very brief time to get the story in there uh, as you're moving through. But this is our big room. This is how Zombie Army does a show. And here at Hell's Gate, we'll bring in a giant group of 40 to 80 people. We'll fit them all in this room in their single file lines. Uh, the maids and butlers will bring them in here and, 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 and tell you you made a horrible mistake coming into the, into the house. We know that the graveyard is dangerous, but inside the house is so much more dangerous. Uh, and as they're doing the intro, they warn the customers, whatever you do, don't trust the children. The children are not children. And this is where we're starting to seed our actual full length story here where Captain Morstone uh, moved to the United States, an immigrant from Europe, uh, to accept a contract from the governor of Illinois to start a cemetery for the unwanted, the prisoners, the orphans, the hospitalized, the women from battered homes, uh, the mentally unwell, the physically unwell. So he built a place for the lost souls, for those who were left behind. Unfortunately, on his way, his twin daughters passed away of tuberculosis on the road. When he moved to this house, he decided to build the entire house as if they had not died, as if it was an honor to them to build it exactly how he promised his daughters it would be, a father's promise kept. Unfortunately, when they did pass, uh, Captain Morstone went into some really, really serious grieving. Yeah, understandable. Uh, and so he brought in seers and, and, and witches and anyone he could, which was all the fashion of the time in the 20s and 30s, uh, to reach into the void, to, to reach out into the darkness to see if his daughters were at peace, uh, if they were happy in their new home. Uh, but sometimes when you reach out in the darkness, the darkness reaches back. And that is exactly what happened. Two demons popped into the 12-year-old corpses of his twin daughters. Oh and now the darkness is spreading throughout the mansion. And so we'll see physical manifestations of that darkness. You'll see the black oozing coming out of the vents and out of the cracks in the wall. This is how the darkness spreads. It infects everyone throughout the place. Uh, if it touches you, the darkness is now inside of you and it takes you over. This is our full storyline of what's happening here. And each room we go, the darkness is progressively getting worse. Ah, uh, you wait right there. I'm gonna open a door for you. I am so scared. <laughs> That's amazing. Such an amazing storyline. That's right, creepy. Place. Oh, cool. Go I've on. always wanted to do this. Trap door. Fireplace. Oh. Here we go. Look at this. Look at the detail. On top of us, all the way around us. Missing brick. Some of the drywall. 
Oh my gosh. Look at this robe. Holy cow. Wow. This is amazing. Even up there, look at all of the relics. Wow, look up. Oh wow, that's a giant globe. Must be world history. So where are we right now? We're in the study. You know, with the zombie army show, ah. you can bring 40 to 80 people in to do a big theatrical room, uh, which is what that big room was. Oh, there's one part I didn't tell you about the room. Hold on, come back, viewers. Okay. I'm so excited telling you a story. Oh, we gotta go back. We're gonna do a secret passage. There's secret passage? Okay. you need to know. Yes, 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 yes. It's fun when you're, when you're working, living in a haunted house, sometimes you forget uh, the fun parts for people that don't know. So <laughs> this is where we tell the story, yeah? Uh, what happens is the maid comes in, she tells you you shouldn't have been here, the lightning is flashing, the storm is going, all the lights go out. All the lights go out. Uh, and this portrait slides open. And then two actresses step out of the portrait window onto the That's maid. freaking freaky. These two twins now tell you what happened. What I just told you about the father bringing them okay. here and trying to see if they were happy ah. at home. They tell you that story, but as they tell you, you start to hear the demons inside of their voice. Uh, right, they are right. not what they seem to be. Uh, and as it all crescendos and crescendos, one of the twins flies over your head. What the? And lands on that deck behind us. Oh, okay. I see the cable uh, there. See the fly line? Right? Oh, yeah. Uh, There's the a beam up there. The twin is on a drop line, so this one goes down like Superman right over your face and is scratching at your eyes. And then that portrait drops, and that portrait drops, and two animatronics come flying out of the room so that as an audience member, everything is above your head coming at your face right now, and then we turn all the lights off. And then you're just sitting in darkness. And then the fireplace opens up, and we travel to the study. I am blown away. That's amazing. So as we bring in that 40 to 80 people, you know, they see the big theatrical show. It takes about three and a half to four and a half minutes. Uh, we can't let that big group go through the haunted house. That's a cattle line. That's disgusting. No one wants to see that. So what we do is we bring them in this big, beautiful room with so much eye candy that you, you, it's going to take you three and a half to four minutes just to look at everything. Right. And this is where we split you up into small groups. We reinforce the rules. We make sure everyone knows there's emergency exits everywhere. Uh, if you need to leave, pissing yourself is not an emergency. Uh, don't touch the actors. The actors won't touch you. No lights, no cameras of any kind. Except you, Jay. You're cool. I, uh, but this is where you get the rules and you get more stories. So consider that me Miles are, Davis. <laughs> the actors are improvising <laughs> with you, playing with you, but mainly they're lining you up in your groups of four to six so that as you go through the haunted house, we're keeping that paced out. So you don't see that group in front of you, you don't see that group behind you. On the back wall here, because we like eye candy, all of these portraits are all of the managers that work here. Oh, neat. Like that's my attorney and his wife. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is myself right here in the center. Oh, there you are. Uh, and everybody up there is one of the managers that have helped me build this place and create all this magic. So that's pretty cool. I'm very grateful to all these beautiful people, so I like to honor them on the walls. Uh, the only one that isn't, we got some friends up top, Man Cow Muller, uh, radio uh, DJ up there. Oh, Man Cow, yeah. Yeah, he was, he was a big supporter of ours in the early days, so we got him up there. And Ariana Grande over here in the corner. Oh. Uh, turns out Ariana Grande loves Halloween, so we got hired to do a haunted house for Ariana Grande that went from her tour bus to the dressing room at the United Center. Uh, That's and, epic. And made friends with Ariana Grande. It was a good time. Cool. Um, so yeah, this is the study. Lots of eye candy, lots of things to Relics. look. Relics. That's a puppet in the hole there. So there's a puppeteer behind there uh, who was talking to you. And of course, it's Hell's Gate, right? One of the big things at Hell's Gate that, uh, you know, you see the twins up there that I talked about? Yeah. You know, the so twins. they're in the front room and now they're following you through the haunted house. Creepy as crap. Now, one of the things we like to say at Hell's Gate is that Hell's Gate Haunted House is not just a haunted house, it's an adventure. And by that, we really mean we're, we're making you physically go through things, physically find things. Uh, so you've seen all that on the trail. You've had to walk that, walk through the swamp area, walk up the hill. And then once you get into the house, it's all about secret passages. Uh, it's all about finding those secret passages to get out of the room. Oh, like an escape room, yeah. Uh, so, our first one here is in the bookcase. Dude. Go ahead. Shall we? Ha <laughs> ha! This is cool. Ooh, watch out for that. Okay. I am in the walls like the people 
under the stairs. This is creepy. The light shining in my face, so I'm completely blind right now. What is that? That's creepy. Oh, love the detail. Coke bottle, cotton. Okay, that got me. That was awesome. <laughs> oh. One of the things we've done with our design, because we truly want you to feel like you're walking through a mansion, is we've built this hallway that runs 160 feet, the entire length of the rooms of the house. The floors are made of actual hardwood oak, so that you feel it and you oh, hear yeah, it. The heels hardwood. hitting really makes you feel different. The re it's real wallpaper, real textured, real antiques throughout all of it. I mean, you cannot get out of your head that you're actually in a mansion. Wow. And you'll see that it's throughout legit, the design. It's a legit house. This is a legit mansion. Okay, so we're continuing down the hallway here. And I can imagine there's scare actors coming out at me to the left and to the right. And then it looks like here, this is, this is, is oh, this is where we go. Into this room here. Oh, someone needs to do the dishes. Wow, oh. Whoa, whoa. Holy cow, the pots and pans are moving. Woo! Piggy, piggy, piggy. Right. That's a sick effect. Dude. Creepy. There you go. Hello. All right, so this is like the cooler? You're going into the pantry. The pantry. Wow, there's a zombie right there, hanging. Crazy. Whoa! Dude, it even smells like mold and mildew in here. Oh, there's something here at the other side, too. Wow, this looks like a. Whoa! Double pig face. In between both of them. Okay, body bags at the end of here. Ooh, I can imagine one of these might come alive. All right, walking through, exiting the pantry. The giant pot there. Oh, gruesome! Look at the, oh the carnage. Oh, poor little piggy. Oh, oh, pig. Whoa, whoa! That guy got me. He's just standing still. Pardon me, do you have any gray poupon? That's an oldie. Oldie but a goodie, right buddy? Back out into the hallway, whoa. Heck yeah, okay, looks like some paintings here. We're crawling into like a cutout. Wow, this is cool, look at this. In we go, whoa. That was a good one. Hello Miss Piggy. All right. Looks like someone's sleeping back here. Oh! Yeah, this is very like people under the stairs. I love pig. Pig love me. I love pig. Pig love me. Okay, out of that hallway into another one. Ooh, I hear something. Moving our way down here into the. Oh, wow. Stay there. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Dude, that got me. Woo! That was creepy as crap. And if you look up, look at all this mess up here. All these chairs. That's the creepy. Whoa! She got me again. That's a creepy chair right there. Bear chair. Yeah, look at the detail. Holy cow. Hello. Okay, we're going to the left through this French door. Oh, this is this is insane already. What the heck is going on in here? The taxidermy that I see right now. Is that freaking Jaws back there? Oh my gosh. You got this guy with a sword. Okay, it looks like we just meander through here. Wow. Look at all the cobwebs. I love the use of cobwebs. Holy cow. Are you the bookkeeper? 
You got a lot of books behind you, buddy. Okay, I'm gonna go by you slow. Whoa! <laughs> The sound of gargling really disgusting. That's that is an aw that is scary. The action's going? Yeah. You're about to go through the shadow, would ya? So greedy with his time. <laughs> uh you go in here, we're doing a double slanted uh, library bookshelves. We slide the actors in here, they're empowered, they're up on a deck, they got all their cut holes. So as you're about to go through this next very claustrophobic slanted uh, oh library shelves, also imagine all the actors coming through all those holes at you while you're trapped. Let's try it. Oh, okay, I see what's going on, yeah. The actors will be popping out of the books. Oh my gosh, very claustrophobic in here. I have to dunk down, there's something right here. You stay right there. You stay right there. The Restless Dead. Daniel Cohen. Whoa, stay right there. Stay right there. Making our way. Looks like you do it again on this side. Whoa. Whoa. Old mech over there. Oh, there's another twin right there in the fireplace. Also, this guy again. Ebenezer Scrooge, what? <laughs> Disgusting, okay, there's the darkness. Must be another one of the twins. Wow. Dude, the puppets in here are insane. Look at this. The detail. No human being stacks books like this. You know I had to get my Ghostbusters quote in here. <laughs> oh wow, you saw that. I didn't I didn't see you there. It's a really good actor spot because I've elevated so many of these. Yeah, I was looking at the books. Rooms that an actor right here in this power position Little, little tiny move, just a little tiny move. Sends them every time. Okay, so there's probably a secret door here somewhere. Ooh, clown. I can imagine it's right. Nope, denied. Maybe here? Maybe I have to pull a book? Good old book trick. Oh no, I gotta push. Ah, uh, hot saw, look at this. Oh wow, I think we're in the greenhouse. Oh, I love a good greenhouse haunt. This is amazing. Wow. Look at this. It's a legit greenhouse. Whoa, whoa, watch your step. Oh, I can see there's probably water in here, like a water fountain going, giant spiders. If you got arachnophobia, this would be a place. Whoa! Good scare right here. I distracted you so much with all the pretty pretty. Can I go check my pants? <laughs> okay, that was really good. This room is amazing. And Chris so the girl would really like this. When the audience is here, one of the fun things about this room is because we've established all the greenery, right? We've done the entire ceiling in glass. So the lightning storm, thunderstorm outside is what lights this entire room at night. There are no other lights in here. So then I've got my actors in bush costumes, full ficus bush costumes. Oh, they yes. They blend in all of this. A little bush gardens here. action. And then they move within those lightning strikes. So the plants come uh, alive. So you've got all of that distraction, all that pretty, and they are just finding places to hunt you. And then, of course, double door pop up for the win. That is the scare of the year right there so far. Oh, my gosh. I just got to point this out because I know people like my fiance. People who like plants will appreciate the detail. We've got daisies, we've got zinnias, hollyhock. I like the detail. This, is this a scare window? Another double door pop double out. Double door pop out. Same actor that got the other side comes out of this one. Yeah. So I'm letting that one actor work several spots. Oh, scare around. Cool. Okay, into this room. Whoa. Man, it's the black eyes that get me. All black eyes. The darkness. The darkness. Uh, up on the walls. Whoa. All our demons. Demon. Whoa. There's one of the twins. Uh, a twin here. Dude, that animatronic. Sick. Whoa. Hello. Yeah, it's one of the twins. I've established all the props on the walls. I've given you this nice high area to look up to to see Whoa. what other props I might put up on the walls. Uh, but what I've really done is, once again, empower the actor. My actor's on the fly line right here, jumps out of the hole, and then Superman flies 
crawling across the walls. You can see the fingernail marks all the way across oh, the walls. Oh wow, they crawl right here. And then disappear into that hole there. Dude, that would freak me out. Uh, I call this the dom domino hole because when she drops out and starts flying, they all just go down like dominoes. Like fall on the floor? All the, all, all the customers, they lay down on top of each other. Yeah, oh. yeah, help them back up. <laughs> Customer service. Dude. Wow. All right, now we're coming outside. Got like a lattice trail, some bloody clothesline. Getting Halloween vibes right now. Waiting for Michael Myers to pull out. I like that the wind's blowing right now. It's adding to it. Oh no. Oh no, please don't tell me. People have a really hard time with no. this next bit. Including and, uh, me. Looks I, like you're I know to. it's coming. Yeah. I know it's coming. Are yeah. you? Oh gosh. <laughs> if you know, you know. Oh my gosh. Okay, the hairs are already standing up on my arms. Creepy doll. Overload. Oh, I think that one moved. Oh my gosh, this is so much. This is too much. <laughs> Wedding dress. <laughs> oh man. Oh wow. Ooh, that one's got green eyes. Whoa. Okay, that's a big one. Actually, Let me jump ahead of you real quick. Okay. Here. Oh, much that. ahead. Oh no. What about the clowns? Ooh, clown dolls. Ooh, hey, you got a plant inside your belly. Okay, I'm looking down at the floor. I'm gonna look up as I'm taking. Wow. Dude, that's creepy. Look at that mouth. It's like a jack o' lantern mouth. There's two of them. So we've got the animatronic, the static, and then the third one is the after, in the exact same costume. In the same costume, so that's that cool. you're moving through here, this is a replica, a slight replica of the facade of the actual house. Oh yeah, it looks like so the your, front. The dollhouse is a replica of the mansion, and so as customers walk through, they don't know where to go. Yeah, that's creepy. I'll let you kind of walk closer to the mansion. I'll show you a little trick. A little trick. You know, you know it's all secret passages already. When did that person get there? Ah! All right, come out, come out wherever you are. Okay, not there. Maybe here? Yes! I got it! <laughs> oh no, more dolls. Why is there more dolls? This is creepy. I can imagine. Oh no, that's a rocking horse. All right, I'm done. I'm just, oh. All right, the darkness has taken over the corner over here. Tail of Hell's Gate. That is freaking sick. Wow, I hear something. <gasps> that just gave me goosebumps. Wow, this is freaking creepy. There's something happening back there at the beds too. Oh, someone's having a tea party. What a lovely tea party. All right, before we progress, how far along are we inside the haunted house right now? Uh, inside the haunted house, we are, I would say, about 45% wow, not even through the halfway. haunted house. So okay. not, not even halfway. And we're in the twins room right now, which is our, you know, our big story piece, our, our icon scaries are the twins. So this is the room the captain built for them after they passed. Uh, so of course, when the demons took over the corpses, the little twins, they came here uh, because uh, these demons are mischievous. They like a, a good game of dress up. Good game of dress up. I see a closet coming up. Oh to the no! To left is fun. To the left is fun. Whoa! whoa. Dude! <laughs> it knocked the camera out of my hand. Okay, let me try this again. I'm not gonna get too close this time. <laughs> let me try to snap back. Whoa! Bye bye. No, not that way. That's oh, not closet. that way. We're going to no, the no, I don't yeah. go. No. Closets are scary, man. Oh no. <laughs> oh, it's like Sir Henry's eye again. Oh no. Here we go. A closet full of little dresses. This is creepy. Oh no. Ah. Oh, I'm so glad there's no scare actors in here right now. Oh no, this is like all my phobias. Oh, stuffed animal wall. Oh my gosh, you're not even scary right now. It's that thing. <laughs> it's that thing. Oh my gosh. Joking aside, this is immaculate and creepy 
Holy cow. You are pretty creepy though. You are. Looks like uh, you got a little bit of darkness overflowing there. Are you wearing a diaper? That's a big baby. Okay, this is my worst nightmare. Thankfully, I saw this. A clown in a closet. A clown in a closet. That is like one of the scariest things. Ooh, I'm walking underneath it. Walking through it. I think we're almost free. Yes. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Whoa, whoa. Oh, this, this hallway's alive. She's puking out in the darkness right there. Crazy. And you thought you were done, but you're not, Jay, are you? <laughs> okay, this is like black, dark clothes closet. This is even worse. Oh, what is it with this? This is so creepy. I gotta get over this. It's always gonna happen. It's always gonna happen. All right, now we're back in the walls. The very people under the stairs. Ooh. Something going on down there. I can feel it. Making our way around. Nice little maze. Oh, oh my gosh. I love that the head's on backwards. Right? That's creepy. Be careful. Ooh. The closet that never ends. I feel like something. Ooh. Not there. Whoa! Whoa! Nice doggy, nice pooch. All right, this is a change of pace. This is, wow, look at these pods. Ooh, snake. Someone's afraid of snakes. They're really not gonna like passing right here. Look at this, little eel in the jar. Whoa, hello. Oh my gosh, raccoon. Okay, that's sick. I've never seen anything like that before. <laughs> That is so cool. This dude's got a raccoon. So this is our critter room. Uh, you just made the halfway point. Uh, because we are so focused on making sure groups stay split up, that each group gets their own intimate experience, so you really feel like you're alone ah. in this place. Uh, no matter what, you're gonna get people to slow down. You know, we call them cats in bathtubs. Their arms go down and they just slow down, they won't move forward. Yeah. So what we do is we use this place to split you back up into your groups uh, and get that timing back, that flow back. So once again, you're put back in your small group, you're sent in, and then we time out that next group to make the rest of the experience just gotcha. as intimate as the first half. And because people need eye candy when they're waiting, we fill all of these tanks with live critters. Wow. So these are snakes, uh, eel, Ooh. tarantula, scorpions, uh, all sorts of fun stuff. We have a professional uh, licensed and registered animal handler and trainer that works here to make sure every animal is very, very happy. Uh, I need to make sure that my animals are just as happy as the rest of my actors are. Yeah. Uh, so we take them very seriously and we got this nice little space where we're just kind of has a minute. You know, That's amazing. Takes, takes them the time before, you know, they have to move on to the next bit. That's a great idea. That's amazing. Ooh, watch out for the snake. Oh, we're going upstairs. You gotta get up to get down. All right. And there are never any scares on stairs. Nope. No scares on stairs. All right. Getting very haunted mansion vibes up here. Oh, there's the bride. Welcome to the attic. I hear a clock ticking. That's so spooky. Hello. Oh, wow. This is creepy. All right, I'm already freaked out. Hello. Someone in the corner. I'm going slow. Something right there. This is freaking creepy. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my gosh! Oh man, that got me. Holy cow! So as you're coming around here, all the way up against the wall, that thing activated. That is a freaking chair. That is a chair scare. I've never seen anything like that. That's cool. All right. Because we're really pushing the secret passages throughout, you know, Hell's Gate is an adventure. Once you get to the attic, you get to choose which direction you want to go. 
do you want to go? In the small trunk? The medium trunk? Or the full size trunk? For our cowards. Or people with back problems, really. <sighs> I'm recording this, right? Which one do you want? I never take the easy way. It's go small or turn around. Okay, I'm crawling in there. It's one of my favorite sounds and the entire haunted house comes next. Okay, I'm gonna get down. I'll turn the camera around for you. Oh my gosh. How old am I again? Oh, I'm getting old. Oh, oh no, this is a claustrophobic tunnel. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh! Whoa. <laughs> oh man, that, I see what you did there. That was amazing. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. Good thing is I no longer have to check my bridges. My bridges. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's my favorite sound in the entire that's house. That's amazing. <laughs> okay. Coming down the hallway here. Whoa. Oh, what the heck? You can see out these slats. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Okay, so... There's a room over here. I don't even know if we're gonna walk through that thing. It looks like Frankenstein's lair. This is, okay, we're walking this way. A bunch of luggage, we're still in the attic, but these slats you look through and there's a whole immersive scene. Looks like Frank, Dr. Frankenstein's laboratory down there. That's amazing. Look at the detail, look at that machine over there. Do we even go through there eventually? Oh yeah. Okay, so we're looking down on part of the haunt, which I think is very cool. I've never seen anything like that. Okay. I think we come around the corner. Go left. Go left. Okay, we go this way. No way. Hey, you guys. Dude, I'm going to go down the slide. Dude, you're kidding me, man. This is awesome. You got to have a giant slide at the haunted house. How else you got to get to the basement I'm like a, a giant slide? I'm a kid in the candy store right now. <laughs> here we go. So what we've done a little different here is... Uh, we designed and engineered our own slide yeah. so that it has enough shoots for your entire group. One, two, so it's three, not four, a body, it's, it's five, not six. A neck. Your entire group slides at the same time. Dude, that's awesome. Now, take a I will warn you uh, because you are here in the off season. Yeah. We have not yet done our annual oh, okay. uh, coating of the slide, so you can go down it, but know that keep your hands off the rails right okay. now because it hasn't it, been. Chris it just code. gives you that little rusty vibe, and you might get a little. Like uh, cut coloration on your shorts. Okay. But I'll ride first. <laughs> All right. There goes John. Hey, you guys. All right, my turn. Woo! Oh my gosh. Woo! You really fly down that thing. Dude, that was insane. All right. This is my new favorite. It's the slide. Little bat demon in the corner over there. I just said we haven't installed anywhere yet. <laughs> He's just like popping out there. That's creepy. He's got a party tie on. He's ready to go. Yeah. Party time. Excellent. Hey, we're by Aurora. I kind of walk the audience through a little bit of what's happening. Whoa. Sorry, it's very loud. Done? Because the captain was exploring uh, the nature of death and how he could bring his daughters back to life. He brought his studies and retreated down here to the basement uh, where he started experimenting with the dead with electricity and trying to reanimate corpses. So it is very, very Mary Shelley, uh, very Frankenstein, it. you called that. Uh, and it is kind of my homage to Mary Shelley because she's the original, man. She's the OG. Yeah, the OG. Okay. Make my way through. Look at this. D-Y-N-A vision. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. It still got me. Yeah. And the table. The monster. Dude. Oh, and it comes out like that. Dude. Oh. And just to show you, this is where, up there, that's where we just walked. And then we came down around the corner and slid down the slides, came around here. Amazing. Look up here. It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! Oh. Always want to say that. Dude, you're gonna break your neck, bro. 
Oh, okay, this is disgusting. Like giant larva in here. Whoa, ooh, someone's snacking on it too. Oh, I'm sorry about that. These are real life animal cages, by the way. It looks like it came out like a uh, animal shelter or something. Ooh. Hello. Kind of look like the dude from Phantasm. All right. Wow. Okay, this is like very laboratory. Look at this. A lot of stuff in here. Look at the detail. Cool. Got some fragrance in here too. <laughs> Whoa. This is spooky. I love this. Look at this. It's the backside. So you're walk still walking through the laboratory. Looks like there's a person on each side. There's something over here. Whoa! Okay, I think we're getting there. I'm gonna walk through there eventually. Junction box. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Live wire! Live wire! This room is hot! Yeah, that's a cool effect. Looks like you got several zombies in here all tangled up. These junction boxes are wired up. Whoa! How did it? Ah! Ah! All right, making our way through. Oh no, it's the morgue. Oh, God, I hate the morgue. Oh, never a fun day. Whoa. Sick. Oh man, you're missing an eye. Oh, animatronic, okay. Excuse me, I like to get by now. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Dude, that's so realistic. So this is obviously the morgue. Kind of like a catacomb. There's someone else over here. Oh, the darkness got this fella. That or KFC. Maybe Taco Bell. Looks like, okay, we have to go through here and then come around. Can imagine. How many scare actors do you have involved? This haunted house has 150 actors at all time. 150, 150? So as you're walking through, we're seeing the pretty, we're seeing you know, beautiful walls, beautiful sets, and cool animatronics. They don't mean a thing. Uh, it's about the actors. Yeah. We have 150 of them in here that are trained. Most of them have been with us for over 10 years. That is the most I've ever heard of. Actually. And uh, last year we were running 183 on certain nights. That's uh, It impressive. was oppressive. You cannot take more than three steps in this haunted house without an actor coming at you from some direction. It's intense. I need to come back and experience that. You absolutely have to come see the show. Yeah. This is this is the place where we do the show, but you haven't seen the show until you see all these beautiful, talented people. I mean, my actors are my favorite. It's why we do this. It's what we love. It's playing It's playing in the dark and playing make-believe with your friends. It is a great goddamn time. And, and they are the lifeblood of this entire thing. They are the reason this show is as good as it is. Well, this is just them. a bunch of fun stuff we build, right? Right. They're the ones that bring it all to life. Whoa, okay. Wow, big barrel here. Look at this. Still making our way around. Something over here. Who's there? Who goes there? I think he's gonna move. Who? Whoa! Darkness got your face. Oh, this is sick. Look up above us. All the way through here. This. Wow, look at all this. All that's distraction or power of the actors distraction. Of these places. The Dude, the actors can go anywhere in here. Create other areas, sneak around behind you. It's just uh, an actor's play gym is all this is. Freaking awesome. Here you go, straight ahead. Straight ahead? Yep. About to get some of the big crowd pleasers here. All right, going into another room right here. Whoa, looks like a gauntlet. You never know who's alive. You never know. As the captain retreated further and further to keep all of the danger away from his house staff and all the people that he did dearly love that live upstairs in the oh house above us, um, he retreated into these caves. And this is yeah. where he started practicing dark magic to see if he could resurrect his daughters. Unfortunately, he opened what we call Hell's Gate. Uh, which is a pit uh, dimensional portal that is bringing forth all these creatures from the other side uh, into this realm. Uh, and once this pit was opened, uh, 
guard dogs came out of it to protect it. Oh my it. gosh. And we're about to enter the dragon room. And oh. these are the guard dogs of Hell's Gate so that it can continue to allow the darkness to seep through and take more and more control over the house and all of the people who dwell here. Okay, I got a little sneak peek of it. You saw a little bit of it, but whoa, drop floor, dude. Wow, that's a cool effect. Yeah, he's sinking to the floor right here. All right, progressing into the dragon room. Here we go. at all the eye candy the actor is inside the pit oh so the actor comes up out of the pit above you for the scare and of course our, my our nice little pop-outs all around the room okay. for a roaming actor to find multiple places to get you while you're looking at the eye candy now wow okay first of all let's talk about this room the, yeah. the dragons are amazing this is the most amazing room I've ever been in oh, thanks. but the stalactites oh yeah that you've done up here we yeah. are in a freaking cave my friend this is glorious. Oh, yeah, this goes back. Oh my gosh. Deep, 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 all the way back there. Because uh, what I want to do when you're an audience member, it's part of the science of scare, right? We're trying to give you this sense of awe mm -hmm. so that you as an audience member feel that this is so much bigger than you. Yeah. And so much bigger than you expected. It makes you feel small. It does. It makes you feel tiny. It does. Uh, which makes all the scares hit so much harder. So I needed to create this real deep vista of these alternating uh, proscenium arches of stalagmites to give you that illusion that it goes on forever. Wow. And the lights are on right now, so just imagine. Wow. This is so sick. So sick. And so as we're talking storyline and we're talking the darkness, so this is where the pit opened up. This is where the darkness originally came from. And so now the darkness is traveling up and up oh, okay. there are the rafters. That's the floorboards of the house above you. So these are all the rooms we walk through above us. Uh, so that's the house. And now we see the darkness traveling up through the floorboards into the house, to the foyer, to the doll room, to the hallway, to everything we already walked through. This is where the darkness started. Right here. And this is where it's spreading from. Oh, okay. People are invested in the story. The story is great. And it, I keep evolving it, opening up new places, introducing new characters. but. That way my audience is coming year after year and they know the characters. They, they know the characters, the characters and they're waiting for the new story, the new yep. the new twist of the darkness. Dude. That's so big. But as we see, we went up to the house of the darkness and infected everybody up top. The darkness learned what humans looked like, how they moved, how they operated by possessing them up top. When the darkness felt that that wasn't enough, the darkness started to move down these shafts deeper and deeper into the caves to create its own nest. So the darkness could start creating its own creatures. So we'll turn around and we'll go into the darkness. Into the darkness, baby. I love this story. Wow. Here we go. Wow, oh wow, look at this in here. This is creepy. This one of the twins, possessed by the darkness. Nice little maze through here. All right, it just keeps going. This room does go all the way back. Whoa, drop floor, dude. Because he had that little spongy bridges you walked down yeah. before. I've never seen one quite like this. And I've told him I was doing this new design at this darkness area and I needed everything to be squishy, squishy, mushy, mushy. I needed you to feel like you were in it, it and does it was feel all squishy. over you. Uh, so once the fog is rolling through here and the lights are all on, you cannot tell, you can't grab your bearings. And anytime you touch anything, it's absolutely disgusting. Uh, so it really makes people feel like the darkness is all over them now, as the darkness is creating its own creatures in all of these pods. Wow. You said, uh, who designed this floor? 
Uh, creative Visions. Creative Mark, Mark Visions. Mark McDonough from Creative Visions helped me out with this floor. Shooting uh, one of our new videos in this room. In this room right uh, here. So not all the animatronics are on yet, but this big guy goes off here oh, right yeah. above you. Oh, wow. This guy drops down at you, Dude. comes at you. It's all about the eye candy above, and then you see these pop-out windows. This is where my actor is getting you. Oh, there's a mirror. Uh, because you're looking Whoa. up at all of this. Oh my gosh. And then this is one of our favorite gags is to the right here. To the right? Uh, yeah, because we've got someone all up. the way up inside of the darkness is one of my actors or my talented fly actors. And they will be on this bungee rig that will jump off of this deck, land right here on you, jump up above you, and then pop right back into the darkness. Holy and cow. they are gone and you have no idea where they went. I mean, they came <laughs> right by you, they blew in your ear, and then boom. Right back into there, right and back. you never see them. You never see them because it's pitch dark in here. Again, I've never seen a room quite like this one and so original. I mean, I've never seen anything like this. Thank you. Never. It's incredible. That's just creepy right there, that lady hanging there. <laughs> Holy cow. We have a little bit of a snow machine added to it, so it's throwing all these particles around the room. Yeah. It's landing on you, and it's a little bit wet, a little bit squishy, squishy. It looks wet in here, but it's really not. Ah, oh, it's so cool. All right, making our way. Wow, ooh, hello. Whoa! Dude. That got me. Ha <laughs> He's cool. He's like a spider looking dude. And these are usually claustrophobia Whoa. bags. So oh. These are Whoa. Up on you here. Oh, okay, claustrophobia. So you can't see anything and everything is coming at you at all times. Dude, and the floor is soft again. That's sick. Squishy, squishy, mushy. Squishy, mushy. 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 Squishy and mushy. Whoa. Pumpkin head. A little corridor here. And then we're going to the right. To the right. And there you go. Oh my gosh. Congratulations. Whoa, Edward Scissorhands overload here. What's this? So what this is, is this is my transition. It is my emotional come down moment. After people leave the haunted house, they're very worked up, they're very energetic. So I'm trying to bring them down with this emotional come down. The toperaries here. Yeah. Uh, and of course, if I got toperaries, I got to have someone trimming the bushes. So we got another chainsaw motivator. Oh, okay. To help move you this way. <laughs> uh, this is, uh, I can't have you go to my gift shop all worked up and freaking out and running. Right. Uh, so I'm going to bring you down with the pretty, a little bit of a jump scare with that chainsaw, but it's really about this transition. So I planted all this ivy on the walls here. Oh, nice. Uh, you know, we're relatively a new haunted house. We've only been here for six years. Uh, so all of this is really building up bigger and bigger over the years. Nice little ivy. Uh, to make you feel like you're going through this garden exit uh, as, your, as your adventure Dude, comes to an end. Dude, I love that. Wow. We just walked through that whole thing. It's amazing. And because we're on a quarry, the water table is only seven feet below us. Okay. So I went to bury my uh, fire suppression tank here. The, uh, the engineers thought we could bury it right here. Oh. And it turns out, there's too much water There's coming up. too much up. water. Uh, so we had to build this entire structure, and then we built the chapel to just kind of hide it all. I oh, didn't it's wanna... a water tower. Yeah, I didn't want I didn't want to take anyone out of the show by seeing a modern water tower here, a modern pump station. Dude. So instead, I built an entire chapel around it uh, to keep you in the show. That's amazing, and that works all your sprinkler system and yep. everything. Yep. Dude, that's a relic right there. I've never heard of that. Inside of there is the water tower. Fire safety. There we go. Whoa, whoa, Disney. It oh my gosh. Exiting through the, the gift, gift shop. shop. It always ends in the gift shop. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, this is the shirt you're wearing. Yep. Oh, cool. Custom dolls too. So you see our dragons are custom, our Hell's Gate dragons. Oh, get out of here, that's cool. We did That's these cool. custom. And then we had uh, one of my favorite artists, Gus Fink, does amazing work. We had Gus Fink create our mother doll. So you saw this character, it's yes. an icon character. You saw it sitting in the twins room reading the book, The Tale of the Hell's Gate. Yeah. So we made some nice little fun icon plushies of our mother doll. Thank you to Gus Fink. Little Hell's Gate book there. Got like a photo thing. Oh, you got like this light up, the glass. Hardware. Terrifying Tales from Hell's Gate. That's a sick shirt right there. Oh, there's the mother. That's mother, right? Yep. Wow. A lot of our makeup artists, a lot of our actors, they're also artists, you know, they paint, they sculpt. Creators. Um, so we give them space in here uh, on consignment. 
And nice. so they're able to put up their artwork, the things they made, and we sell that as well. And sometimes they can make as much money or twice as much money selling their stuff in the gift shop than they do the entire month working in the Wow, office. I love that. Um, yeah, and, and it love gives us this make money in like, here. like this dark gallery feel too, and, and it lets us celebrate the artists that we have working with us too. That's what it's all about, man. That's why we're here, celebrating a fantastic piece of artwork called Hell's Gate. Like what I did there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Button at the end, baby. Yeah. Buttons at the end. So we're backstage real quick. Um, one of the things different about Hell's Gate here, uh, we are, as far as I know, the only haunted house that literally built a building just to do haunted houses. This entire structure, the entire property, this all used to just be a forest. We came out here and built this haunted house. It's the only haunted house I know that was built by haunted house people for haunted house people. So this is our back management area. We've got all the offices. That's beautiful. On um, these monitors is cameras in every single room. Security. So that we are monitoring every customer's flow so we could really pay attention to the time in between those groups to really keep those groups set up. It is the thing we fight for the most. Yeah. It also allows us to run any trouble groups, any actor problems Security. we have real quick. Coming this way. Flying monkey up there. Flex space. Wow. I call it the flex space because it's flexible. Uh, what we do in fall is we'll bring all the actors in here. We have our check-in counters here. They have their lockers, their chairs, their bean bags. We're playing movies for them. We want our actors to feel like this is their clubhouse. This is their treehouse because it is. Uh, so this is where they all hang out pre-show. We like to make sure they're very comfortable. It's a nice big room. Nice bathrooms, which are very key. Oh. Uh, and uh, yeah, they come, they check in, they hang out, uh, play with their friends. Right now it's set up a little weird. We just had a pumpkin carving day. So, oh. Uh, These were just carved. Getting ready for the season. And then last night we had a promo shoot, so we're operating some green screen stuff. Had a promo shoot uh, last night. Up. And then if you come up here, I'll show you costume and makeup. All right, I was going to say, we're, show me the costumes. Okay, up into the. Wow! Whoa! That's a lot of costumes. You said there was 150 scare actors, so. 150 actors every single night. Come up here, and we have. 14 makeup artists in their individual booths, and it is like a Ford assembly plant here. Anthony Glenn is our head makeup artist here, our lead, our manager. He's also our head props person. It is really handy to have someone that talented around. Yeah. Uh, he also runs his own company, Original Sin Design. So check him out. If you ever go to a trade show floor, okay. he does beautiful things. Uh, so here you can see we're building a bunch of things right now before we start the season. Anthony's building bodies oh. back there, building pumpkins, Take getting a look the over here. ready. Oh yeah. All of those are original pores, all those heads are Look at these moles. Sculpts. Anthony did these. Very original and custom. Wow. Hard at work up here. Wow, he has the dream job. <laughs> you do too. <laughs> this, this is amazing. Costumes right here. I like everyone to kind of work in tandem with makeup and costumes. So they come up here, they get their gear, they get in a chair, we take care of them and knock them out. We got about 10, per, 10 minutes per person. Uh, and we do not do any glued on appliances. Okay. Everything is handmade every single night. Uh, so we're using a two part silicone process to build up any of those giant wounds. 10 minutes openings. per person. Everything is custom every single night. All the costumes over here. Yeah, I always love seeing the costumes, the masks, where the actors put on the makeup, the behind the scenes. It's incredible. And it just keeps going, man. This is so cool. Oh, well, here are all the chairs, the makeup chairs. So this is kind of one of the things we do special. We get, this is our actor area, right? This is where they are. The food is here. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich stations for before the show. We do big dinners for everybody at the end of the show. Uh, but one of the best parts about Hell's Gate, my favorite part of the whole design. I mean, dragons are cool and the darkness is great, but my favorite design is this. Okay. We call this sexy hall. Whoa. It is sexy to us because efficient management is sexy. This hallway runs from the actor's area here all the way to the very front door of the haunted house. That is the front porch of the mansion Dude. where you enter. You have a secret hallway. The entire the house is on this side and the entire basement is on the other side. Dude. And so as we're managing, we could be peering through these halls, checking on customers, making sure it's going well. If we have a problem at any point, say you've got someone who's uh, intoxicated and, he, and he's touching all the props and I need to have a word with him. I get to just open this door and I get to escort this nice person right here. 
and I get to have a private conversation in the back hallway with them. Are there cameras in here? You're not allowed to touch the props or the, or the actors. Uh, most people are just having too much fun. And what's, what's great is I've not, I've not affected the rest of the group. I've not affected the group behind You pulled them into the hallway. Up. Security's not ruining the show. And as long as we're cool, as long as we're gravy, we have a conversation, and the person like, oh, sorry, sorry. As long as that's great, no problem. We're going this way, because I know exactly how long it's going to take for his group to get to this door. And then I just put him right back in the group. And he missed a portion, so that's what you get. He missed one room, his group has no idea where he went, and then I pop him right back in like magic. Dude, that's kind of scary. <laughs> uh, and, and, and a lot of times, most of it is just people having too much fun. If it is a danger, uh, we of course take them out with security, and the police work that out for us. Gotcha. So now it makes sense why we went out and came back in. Also, like every room is yeah. labeled so that the actors know exactly how to get room number to eight. their rooms. This is very easy for an actor to get from their working position to go to the bathroom. Ah. You don't get a bottle of water. And you got your fire extinguishers. Oh yeah. This is uh, great. Right now we're in the season of build. So all of our build stuff is here. Extra props I haven't installed yet. The workshop stuff. All of this will be empty during the show. We have water jugs going all the way down for the kids too so they can fill up their waters and get right back in the rooms. Impressive. That way, you know, I, I don't want blown anybody away. to be comfortable. And then, you know, they don't know how to get to a bathroom. They don't know how to get to the brake station. Or they need to go see, you know, the back of house manager to talk about they got to leave early. Like, I want everything to be simple for my actors. I want doing the job is hard enough. You know, doing improv acting for four hours a night is hard enough. Yeah. I like to make everything else for them easy so they can focus on the show and never feel stressed out for anything else. And this hallway. This is everything to us. We can manage a show. We can get to any problem in less than 15 seconds. The moment an actor gets on a radio and says, I need help or I need anything, 15 seconds. People are coming from all directions uh, because that's how we manage a show. None of our actors are ever left alone. We have some old tombstones fixing it up. So we've got you? that side area there where we do some of our outdoor work. It's the shop. Wow. Yeah. Every haunt has a good shop. This is a big one. Going upstairs? Going upstairs. You're scary. Wow, that's a tall cloud. <laughs> that's a very short one. <laughs> oh, wow. The balcony. So we manage all the people with sexy hallway, yeah? Yeah. We manage all the technical aspects of our show with sexy deck. And sexy it's deck. And a catwalk that runs above that entire hallway. So and this yeah. is how we've designed our operation. So you can walk above it. That is genius. Here's the twins right here. That's the study. Wow. I've got tons of props here I still got to put in somewhere. Dang. But we get like fun little things like this. Where we could look down into the room and see how things are going. Dude, that's the darkness. Dude, okay. And even the window itself is mirrored so that it's just reflecting darkness back. So it doesn't hurt anything inside the design. You see all of our rooms Whoa. set like this. Yeah, watch your step, please. <laughs> we run all of our electric up here. So everything is coming to separate circuits. Everything is clean and run clean. Almost everything is low voltage wire here. Uh, so we're getting no heat issues. All of our air system runs in a circular fashion around the entire building. So I could pop out these manifolds into any room. But most importantly, if anything goes wrong, we can fix it from up here. We're not affecting the show. We're not interfering with the audience That's flow. That's genius. Our technicians are working up here. All the sound is here. All the lights are here. All the air comes from up here. Above the haunt. That's incredible. Oh, bod. Secret window. Dude, it's the dragons. Wow. No way, no freaking way. I've never seen anything quite like this. This setup is just state of the art. Wow, top of the magic. You oh, know, wow. every one of our flyers gets a nice, safe, secure place to get loaded this in. Is, this is the uh, landing platform. Wow. Yeah, that way they're rigged up here, everything is checked, everything is safe. That's cool. And we could have our managers always come up here, have a talk, make sure you're good, make sure you're feeling healthy, feeling strong, you need water, need anything, but that way you're not trapped anymore. Safety first, all the time. Whoa, stay there. Stay there, you three. Dude, the hot's still going off down here. In there. 
We're above the hot. And where are we right now? This looks like a giant apartment. This is so cool. This is, uh, you were just telling me. This, this is like our clubhouse. This the is clubhouse. the zombie army bunker. Uh, so this is where my managers get to, you know, have a meal before the show starts. Uh, at the end of the show, all of my managers come up here and we have a tradition where we hand count the tickets on the big table. Oh. Uh, and as we hand count the tickets, we talk about the show. We talk about what happened that night, what we saw, what we need to fix, what we need to adjust, uh, things with different actors that we're working with. Uh, but this is kind of like our post-mortem space. That's sick. Because my yeah. goal is we will be better today than we were yesterday. Uh, but the only way to get better is to communicate what happens there, right? Yeah. So this is all about communication. Getting all the managers together at the end of every single show and communicate what happened with 150 different actors and the 200 different special effects so that we can make our notes the next day we go to work first thing in the morning to improve, to fix, to better, uh, and have a better show today than we did yesterday. Water. Thanks, my friend. I needed that. In a window looking out at the haunt. You said these are the only windows on the property. Yep. Looking back at your creation, John, this is cool. Looking down at it. There you are, Hell's Gate Haunted House. Hellsgate.com. Nice little facade here. And this guy, just lounging. Whoa. What was that? John, is that you? You never leave, do you? Never leave. You got your own bed in here. <laughs> I can do my work, I can work all goddamn night, and I don't have to drive home to Chicago. I got my Murphy bed if I need to sleep here. Dude, secret that's... passages, secret passages everywhere here at And Hell's secret Gate. beds too. So you're just telling me you are a part of the haunt each night, you are a scare actor as well. Oh yeah, uh, I mean for multiple reasons. One, that's the fun part, <laughs> is just getting a costume and going out there and playing in the show, right? Uh, but for two, you know, I, I feel like as the director and, and, and the producer and the designer, um, I need to be in costume and makeup every single night with those kids, with the rest of the actors here. Uh, there's no way I could tell them to work harder or work faster if I'm not willing to be in those rooms doing the exact same thing with them. Uh, so I absolutely have two different characters that I work out here. Uh, I make sure I've got Earl, you know, which is my silicone mask guy. This is uh, Darkness Incarnate. You know, I've got a full bodysuit, silicone bodysuit that goes with that too. Uh, and then on other nights, I will be the houseman. Nice. Uh, both of these made custom by uh, Anthony Glenn for me. Um, but yeah, it's important because as a designer, I'm following the audience through in character. Yeah. You know, so I'm not taking them out of the show, and it allows me to see what's working and what's not working, you know, and my designs, which rooms work, which rooms don't work. So I'm figuring out my designs for next year in character. It also lets me check in on all the actors that are working here. Uh, and if I think someone needs to be trained, I'm working with them in character to train them up, to, to help them. Um, you know, and I get to really see the ins and outs and the details of the show this way. Uh, so that I, I'm, a, I'm a better director, I'm a better designer. Yeah. And, and you know, hopefully I'm a better leader because I'm in there doing the work with them. Yeah, that's how it should be done. I, yeah. I think so. And and also, like, it's the fun part. <laughs> you know, right. it's like getting I, in costume and makeup and running around the dark and playing with your friends. That's the fun part. I've uh, used this analogy before. I think I was talking to, uh, I think it was Eric at Haunted Overload. Mm -hmm. um, I, I didn't say this on camera, but it's like, imagine Stephen King is able to go inside <laughs> of one of his books yes and yes. walk around that's what you are doing yeah i mean i write all these stories i design all of it and so i get to see and on their faces i how envy it's you affecting them. that's that's incredible that, an, that must feel great man i'm incredibly lucky to and uh you should you should pat yourself on the back because you've done one hell of a job thank you Hell's thank Gate, you very man. much I this appreciate is, it. This thank is you. impressive. Thank you. A lot of people you know, ask me about my favorite horror movie. I say Jaws every goddamn time. That's right. And, and they laugh at me. They're like, why Jaws? And I'm like, no movie has ever ruined economies like Jaws did. Jaws ruined beachfront economies across the country. They couldn't get people to go swimming anymore. That damn thing made people afraid of public pools. No movie has ever done that in history. No movie has ever affected economies like Jaws did. And <laughs> my fiance, that's her favorite movie. Oh, right up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's absolutely one of my favorites. She did the real life uh, Jaws locations that inspired cool. the, like the New York, uh, the New Jersey shark attacks. Okay. She went out yeah, there and yeah. did that. That's how much that's she loves awesome. it. Yeah, it's okay, a cool video. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so I got respect. And so this is where the audience will walk out. 
Now on an October night, when you come visit, this entire space is transformed. We have food trucks there. We have our second bar right here. We have two bars. So we have a bar before you go in and a bar when you come out, call them the bookend bars. Yes. And we have free photo ops, games, the pumpkin tree, we'll have all the pumpkins hanging from it. Photo ops, the more showing uh, horror movies and bits. Of oh, nice. The giant projection screen. And then we do big bonfires, you know, campfires all through here. Because when you're done, I don't want to shoo you out. I don't right. want to make you leave. I like that. I want you to have your entire fall experience. I want you to have a beer, get a funnel cake, sit by the fire, and talk about the experience. Think about what had. just happened. And most of our customers, when they come out here, they're out here for hours. You know, the show itself is about a 45 minute experience to walk through that show. 45. It takes some time. Uh, and so we want you to get some time here. Take, take a half an hour, have a drink, have a sandwich, look at all the actors running around, take your photo ops. Um, but have your Halloween night, you know, and that's kind of our thing. Like we're purists out here. We want to have that whole fall experience when you come to Hell's Gate. Hell's Gate Haunted House. All right. Well, thanks for having us out here. No problem. Thanks, thanks John. Coming. It's it was awesome. So worth so worth. It. I will tell you this. So worth it to jump on a plane and come out and check them out this fall. All the information will be in the website. Uh, the link in the website uh, will be in the description below. All that jazz. But yeah, I just want to thank you here as I'm recording for everything. Thank you. Thanks and, for and, having and, me. and if anyone wants to see more behind the stage stuff, we do. We have a web series called Days of the Living Dead. You can go to daysofthelivingdead.com. It just follows us backstage all nice. year as we design, build, all that. And I got to correct myself. I misspoke earlier. I said Rose Hill Cemetery. It's not Rose Hill, it's Burr Oak Cemetery. Burr Oak. Burr Oak Cemetery. It's funny. Rose Hill's right next to my house and it just kind of dropped in my head. It's, I go there to study mausoleum designs. That's weird because there's a Rose Hill Cemetery which I've been to many times here on this channel in, Tarp okay. in Tarpon Springs and it's very haunted. Oh, so neat. Cool. as soon as you said that, so <laughs> I don't believe in coincidences, so something aligned there. <laughs> Must have been in, in, the, in the ether somewhere out there. Yeah, in the darkness. <laughs> All right, guys, got to wrap it up. The wind is blowing. I can hear the train out in the distance beyond the trees. Hell's Gate, our time here today has ended. Thank you so much to John for such an amazing, impressive, impeccable tour. And even more, thank you for this wonder piece, this state-of-the-art haunted house. I've never seen anything quite like it. And I can't wait to get the full experience someday with all of the scare actors much ahead. I'll have to come back for that. I'm gonna put these back on because that sun's like right there. But yeah, Hell's Gate. It lives up to the legend, baby. Just walking through with the lights on. I've never seen anything quite like it. I am so honored and thankful that I got this opportunity out here and grateful that you guys came along. So thank you so much for watching. If you wanna come out and experience Hell's Gate, I strongly recommend it. Make sure you check out all the information again below the video. Also, I'll put it in the comment, the website where you can find the location information, the ticket prices, the schedule. 23 nights here in October, two in September. So that's 21 nights in October, two in September. They begin on September 29th and good luck. I highly doubt it that you're not gonna walk through there and not get scared at least five or six times. I mean, come on, that is impressive. Never seen anything like that. That is so many scare actors, 180 scare actors. Wow, I have yet to see that. I have yet to see that. Oh, thanks to John, I have to share with you. He gave me a t-shirt, check this out. Terrifying Tales from Hell's Gate. It's a sick shirt, very Tales of the Crypt inspired as John said it was. Thanks, John. Oh, I just saw that. The price of the comic book, $6.66. There's the twins right there. Oh, yeah. also you got Mother, Buna. I think I remember seeing her in there. And Earl. That's actually John. All right, everyone. Know you're awesome. Know you're loved. And no matter who you are, what you're going through, there's always much ahead. It's not just a statement. It's a way of life haunts on and for today's creature feature we conclude we'd love to see you next time there are more haunted houses ahead here in the midwest and beyond